So I'm really wondering, what is your impulse right now in this moment mm -hmm. um, to write a coming of age memoir? Mm. I mean, you're so young. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, thank yes. you for that. Uh, I feel that if you are not a straight white man of literary stature, everyone else um, has to justify their story, and certainly the memoir, and, and, and certainly a memoir that, as my intention with this book, is in conversation with the American story, right? right? When we, like, the, the great American book, there's an assumption that the great American book is written by, uh, you know, a, a rich, straight, white man, you know, who doesn't think he needs to go on the Oprah book club. Um, but that's not true. You know, and so I just felt like, yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, I think life is as short. I, I, obviously, I, I think a lot about peril. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think any of our potential guarantees us another moment. It doesn't matter. You have a good book in you or good art or you're really smart. You could walk out of here and die tonight. And that's just how it goes. And, and so knowing that, I just feel it's important to write it now, right. you know, and not wait. You, you might, I might learn, listen, 20 years from now, if I'm lucky to have 20 more years, I might write another book, you know, that is about these events. But, like, I wanted to encapsulate the experience I was having and, and, and particularly the memories in terms of what they mean to me now as someone right. who's 33 years old, what they mean to me now. And as I was working on the book, it just felt like I was learning from it, right. which I think is always key. And America kept reminding me that I needed to finish this damn book.